officials coming out and stating that Yosemite National Park has an area or a campsite that is infected with the plague. Two squirrels have died because of this. They've closed the area down. They say the 304 site, this Meadows campground, will be closed from noon Monday until noon Friday so that they can treat this area with a flea-killing insecticide. Now they're going to spray into the burrows, into the holes, and try to kill as many fleas as possible. And they basically say, although this is a rare disease, the current risk to humans is low. And that's only because we have the technology this day and age to kill off the common flea that may be carrying something. What I would su suggest to uh, keep an eye on is any mutant flea or genetically modified flea, bioengineered, that could be carrying who knows what, that's also engineered. That's what I would be paying attention to, especially you want to talk attacks. I mean, look what the plague did a long time ago because it was something they couldn't stop. Well, a different style, a different breed of the plague could do just that. Or at least it could be used in the hands of, of a few to take out many. And all along, they could say that they have no way to stop it. You see? And I say that because this is already proven to be very deadly. And when it comes to fleas and things like this, they can spread it. Um, it can spread rather quickly. And they're so small, they can get on clothing and anything else and spread like wildfire. You know, and they're saying that they can stop it by simply attacking the burrows and applying today's technologies, a kind of mist, if you will, bug spray to eliminate the fleas in any human exposure. So, I'll leave a link, but this is where it's uh, happening at Yosemite. Spindabu 7.